addition of two digit numbers without carry over children so far we have learned the addition of single digit numbers now we are going to add two digit numbers without carry over let us solve this sum the sum is 20 plus 16 is equal to first i will write these numbers in vertical display we will have to add the units first look if we add 6 units to 0 units, the answer will be 6 units only. And if we add 1 ten to 2 tens, the sum will be 3 tens. This means that 20 plus 16 is equal to 36. Now you will have to solve this one. 13 plus 40 is equal to... Madam, this sum is similar to the first one. If we add 0 units to 3 units, the answer will be 3 units. And if we add 4 tens to 1 ten, the sum will be 5 tens. Therefore, 13 plus 40 is equal to 53. That's right. Addition of two digit numbers with carryover. Children, it is easy to solve the addition sums without carryover. Now we will solve some difficult additions. That is, addition of two digit numbers with carryover. For which the first example is 15 plus 9 is equal to Let's write these numbers in vertical display. Look here, there are 5 units and 1 10 in 15. And in the second number, there are 9 units and no 10s. We will solve this sum with the help of the beads. In 15, there is one string of 10 beads and 5 single beads are remaining. And these are 9 single beads. So first, let's add units together. 5 units and 9 units together make 14 units. We will make one string of 10 beads from these 14 beads. This one string means 110. We will carry this 110 to the tens place. We will write remaining 4 units in the units place in the answer. In tens place, we had 110 earlier, to which we will add this new 10, and together they will make 2 tens. Let's write this in the answer. Therefore, 15 plus 9 is equal to 24. Now we will do another addition. 23 plus 17 is equal to. In 23, there are 3 units and 2 tens, and in 17, there are 7 units and 1 ten. First, we will add the units. 3 units and 7 units together make 10 units. 10 units make 1 ten. We will write this 1 ten as carryover in tens place, and as there is no units in units place, we will write 0. There are total 4 tens in tens place. Therefore, 23 plus 17 is equal to 40. In 40, there are 4 tens and 0 units. Now you solve the next one. 14 plus 29 is equal to... Tell me, how many units and tens are there in 14? 4 units and 1 ten. Correct. How many units and tens are there in 29? 9 units and 2 tens. That's right. From where should we start adding? From the units. So tell me how many units will be there in all? 4 units and 9 units together make 13 units. That's correct. In 13, how many units and how many tens are there? 3 units and 1 ten. Right. Where should I write them? Madam, write 3 in the answer in units place and write 1 in tens place as a carryover. Correct. How many tens are there in tens place in all? Madam, the earlier 3 tens and 1 carryover together make 4 tens. That's right. So how will you read the sum? 14 plus 29 is equal to 43. Very good. How many units and tens are there in 43? 3 units and 4 tens. That's right. So in this way, we can solve the sums with carryover very easily.